I think it's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's happening. Unlocking the tank? No, no, not, not just yet. Today, today though, I promise, but look at the mark of excellence. We're on, uh... We're on high percentage, but I think I might need one more shot or something. Oh, come on, that's not my spotting, really? Ugh. Okay. Wait for the pattern to get spotted, or... Pray. Yes! Yes, it is, it is here. It is here, the second mark of excellence on the T10. My first second mark on a... Uh, tier 9 plus vehicle. <laughs> yes. I'm very close with the T with the object and the T54, but the T10. The T10 takes the lead. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Excellent. That is another tank done. I don't care at this point. You. Just whatever. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're gonna get up to 90, uh, 96, I wish, 86 probably. That was my kill by all rights. I mean, he shot me, but fine. I'm, I'm not gonna pretend I'm, I'm not slightly upset at that. Uh, I'm fascinating how he's still looking at me while there's two tanks shooting at him, but I, I get it, I get it. That's fine. Lerva, oh, okay. Any high rolls. Is, is, does he actually? No, never mind. I think that might not actually be a high roll. Never mind though, I don't care anymore. Uh, there's a little bit more spotting, yes. Oh, let's go around. Um, now we just stay and wait. Mm -hmm. Shame, but that's alright. This is the end of the Lerva and the end of. Uh, Of a very productive, successful, and uh, fun set of games. Perfect ending. Perfect ending. That's 86.4% of the mark of excellence. 5.9. Actually, 86.45% of the mark of excellence. That is amazing for those who are initiated. That, in a mathematically complex and roundabout way means I've played over the course of the last two weeks better than 86.45% of the World of Tanks player base and uh, yeah that is the second mark of excellence on the T10 So, the T10, previously known as the IS-8, which it is, um, and in fact, in fact, if you take a look at the vehicle details, um, development started in 1949, the vehicle entered service in 1953 under the designation T10. Subsequent development yielded uh, several modifications of the tank, the most mass-produced being the T-10M. Approximately 2,500 vehicles were produced. Except, except, if you go over to Google and go T-10 tank, and you open it up, and you're going to see that it is, in fact, or in, uh, in actuality, the IS-8. Uh, also known as Object 730, or IS-8, was a Soviet heavy tank of the Cold War. The final development in the Yosef Stalin, that is the IS tank series. However, by the time this entered service, due to the political climac, uh, clima, uh, climate sorry, in the wake of Stalin's death in 1953, it was renamed to the T-10. Um, fun fact, in the game files, when you look at replays and stuff, it's still called the IS-8, um, as a sort of nice little nod to that, I suppose. But yes, anyways, phenomenal vehicle. Uh, I'm going to use the boost to uh, help out with the crew training and everything, because I do need repairs on the crew. Um, and here we go. Here we go. That is the second mark of excellence. Today is the final leg of the marathon, and uh, I'll show you 
with 20,000 H uh, HP, I wish, with 20,000 uh, base experience to go. Roughly, in my modest opinion, that's going to be around... 40 battles, I want to say, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think in around 40 battles we should be able to get that um, absolute maximum, right? Today's stats are as follows. Um, win ratio is, you know, not that great. Uh, 11 victories out of 23. Average experience 830, though. Average damage 1.6. Average existence 600. Not all that bad, in my modest opinion. Not all that bad. Um... And 60 bonds as well. That's good. That's that's, that's proper good. I'm getting I'm getting near to 15,000 bonds, which is exactly how many I want. Uh, because I want to spend them on... Give me a second. On one of these. Uh, now, I'm not going to buy the M60 or the 121B. I'm going to wait for the next series of tanks on offer. But I'll save them up and then uh, see what's for sale. That said, though... I'm not going to play the Object 140 for the end of this uh, leg. It carried me through, but as you can see, I've um, reached the point limit on it. It's 700 out of 700, which means I need to play something else. Um, and I'm not going to play the T10 ever again, pretty, pretty much since I've marked it. I'm kidding. I, I love the vehicle. I will play it again. But uh, yeah, I've, 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 it's, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal vehicle. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um... Object 277, maybe, or maybe I, I focus on marking, uh, was it this and this? No. Yeah, the T-54, maybe. Maybe. We shall see, though. That's, that's besides the point. I'm also close to marking, uh, very close to marking the Tiger and the Jagdpanther. Well, the Jagdpanther for the first mark of excellence and the Tiger for the second. Uh, so I, I think I'll be focusing on these two, especially as, uh... Well, I've already bought the Ferdinand as well, which is kind of what I wanted to show. Here it is. Um, stock. I didn't put any equipment on it. I didn't put anything on it. I will put, like, my standard equipment loadout on it, though. For consumables. The crew is a bit of a pain, though. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The crew is a bit of a pain, though, because there's one more crew member compared to the Jagdpanther. That's just... I mean, that's just annoying, honestly. And then the Jagdtiger has the same amount of crew. So, eh, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh... Good. This is, this is very good. This is very good. Um, I'll see you all in the evening, I think, when we get closer to marking this thing and, uh... Getting the tank. 15 hours, more than enough time, um, I think this is a done deal more or less, but I do need to play for quite a bit. 20,000 experience is not a small amount by any stretch of the imagination. That's like 20 almost, okay, 25 almost perfect games, right, with 900 to 1,000 experience. That is, um, it's not easy to get in one day, but I think I can do it without, without much problems. So, uh, here we go. Can he do it? Can he do two tanks in one day? Can he achieve what was hitherto? If we're honest, kind of unlikely, but not more than that. There we go. Mmm, man, that feels good. There we go. Okay. Very near uh, to unlocking the tank. 1 a.m. currently. I've, I've relaxed, honestly. I've, pl uh, I've, um, I've watched some TV shows, and... Uh, yeah, I was like... You know, didn't play all that much, to be honest with you. Um, so, it, the, basically, that's why it's taking so long. But um, this was a great battle. GG, second mark of excellence on the Tiger 1, and we can get rid of the tank. Whew, this was, um, I dropped down to 80, like, I dropped down to 80, then got back to 82, and then dropped down to 80 again, because I had some really terrible games, but, um, we're at 85, here we go, that's what I'm talking about, second mark of excellence, high caliber medal, um, 
just just awesome. Um, yeah, one thousand. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Let's see how close we are to unlocking the whole thing. Mm, three thousand base XP. All right, that, we ought to do that in like a few battles. Um, I'll see you after those uh, those few battles. So so darn close. Um, I think I want to do it in like a premium tank. Mm, actually, no, I want to do it in a tier nine or ten vehicle because it's very late at night and there's not that many people playing. So yeah, let's do it in like the two seven seven. I guess I haven't played with this all that much. I didn't realize I'd do it in the last battle. I, I wanted to record it, but the I, I, th these are my live reactions, though. And excuse me, I'm gonna. Ladies and gentlemen, I've dropped to the floor. Can you actually hear me from here? I think you can. I've got like, like the Blue Yeti picks up sound really, really well from like all in the room. Um, I'll get up in a second, just five more minutes. Oh, God. <sighs> yeah. In actual fact, it wasn't that difficult. <sighs> but it was ten days of just hating the game at some points, really liking it at some, and then indifference for, like, the last three days. Just complete indifference. Um... That said, though, that said, though, the tank is kind of garbage. Uh, the object 274A, uh, I wish I did this for the Bokasi, honestly, but I didn't have time back then. Um, is this it, then, is it? Yeah. So, the object 274A. Give me the tier 8, 9, and 10 Soviet tanks. Let's kit it out. I think I'm going to put this crew in it. I see no reason not to. Send them to the barracks. Send them to the barracks. And then... And there. And I have a Russian medium tank crew for uh, whatever, whatever I need it for later. But it is done. Oh boys, oh boys! The battle, the battles tonight have been. Let's not look at the stats. Forty-two percent win ratio, thirty-two victories. I think late at night I shouldn't play the game. Yeah, but then again, like I had good results yesterday late at night. Actually, pretty terrific results late at night yesterday. So, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I, just, I just can't speak right now. This, is, this has been an adventure. I'm glad that I've proven to myself that I can do it. Um, and I can do it in nine days. Without, obviously, like some insane um, commitment, like playing... When for 12, 15 hours every single day or whatever, then I can do it in like fewer days, but the way things worked out was I played around I want to say around 50 battles every day which, if you'll excuse me for a second but it wasn't 50 battles, uh, I can tell you what uh, World of Tanks Life I think is the website, I do want to calculate how how quickly I did this. Just gonna look myself up and then. Okay. So let me just switch this to English because it confuses me when it's been my native language. Good, there we go. So for the past 30 days, my win ratio has been 52%. I've had 435 victories, 396 defeats. For the past seven days, though, my win ratio has been 53% in total, which I can't really believe, but okay. Past seven days, 53%. Okay, fine. Um, and I've played a total of 404 battles for the past seven days. 
So I am right. I, it, it took around like 500 battles. Yeah, because like... I didn't play day six all that much, or was it day seven? I get the two confused because of my sleeping schedule was also all sorts of messed up. And then day five, I think I didn't play that much, or was it something along those lines? Like the, there were two days where I played like not that many battles, and the one the ones that I did play weren't exactly terrific. So yeah. Um. Total 50.98. That's not right, though. This went down, didn't it? 50.91. So this doesn't actually refresh... Oh, this was, um, this was up until this morning at 6pm. Yeah, because the last update was at 6.40. So, yeah, the, the stats are actually, like, a little bit different, but I, I, I tell you, like, it, it, it took around 500 battles. Um, which, now I want to calculate, like... Let's say it took 500 battles. I have a calculator open up. I'm pretty sure you can't see it. No, never mind, it's on the other monitor. monitor. Um, so let's say it took, like, let's be a bit generous. Let's say it took 520 battles, right? How much XP was the whole marathon like? Do I actually have the stages visible? I can't actually see the stages from here, can I? No, I can't. That is a little bit unfortunate, but okay. Um, Total XP. I'm trying to Google it. Ah, so we know... 2,000, 5,000, 9,000, 17,000, 28,000, 28,000, 32,000, 35,000, 40,000, and 50,000. This was for the lists. Um, Polar Challenge... World of Tanks 2020, the Polar Challenge, stages, okay, we can actually calculate this, so, 2,000 and 5,000 is 7, and 9 is 16, and here's where I start using the calculator, <laughs> alright, 16, give me a second and I'm going to calculate this, alright, off camera, because you don't need to listen to me do math, 25,000 uh, oh, sorry, 254,000 experience. I wish it was 25,000. Um, 254,000 experience. And let's divide that up by 520 battles, for example. That means my average experience was around 500. Hmm, okay. If we go back to here and divide this by like 500, that means my my average experience was around 508 every day. Am I being a bit too generous with the amount of battles it took? Because for seven days, according to this, I've played 404 battles. So let's calculate that into take that into consideration. Um, so divided by 400 and, what was it, 404, it's 628. But I didn't play, huh, and I, because I, I, I don't remember how many battles I played for the first three days is the problem. Can I somehow... I can actually calculate this with the graph, I think. 
Yes, I can. So, it started when exactly? The 27th, I believe. Yes, because the number of my battles went up by... a significant margin. Also, my WNH shot up during the marathon, or was it just my... No, yeah, it was my WN8. My WN8 shot up during the marathon insanely, but I was playing higher tier tanks, so... Eh, anyways, it started on... the 27th, so 9,295 versus 900... No, 900, I wish. Alright. 532. That is the average experience of a battle, I think according to this, but that's not accurate either. And I'll tell you why that's not accurate. So you get to stage one, and you have a 2,000 battle game, 2,000 experience battle game, but you only needed two experience to finish the stage. This math takes into account that battle as being two experience. This is not accurate, this is not a good way to calculate, but roughly, like... Roughly 500 something experience, 600 maybe at the most. Um, why don't I play a little bit with tier 5 too? Yeah. I'm just exhausted, honestly. Damn. Alright, let's talk about this marathon. Is it worth it? Even if this was the best tank in the game, I, I still don't think it's worth it. Um, were I just a little bit better, a little bit more patient, I could have done this in a much more orderly manner with fewer battles. Yes. However, uh, if I am overly aggressive in a battle, and, for example, a four, the 430U is a good example, because I, I, I think I went down with Mark of Excellence during the, uh, the marathon with it, because I was just being reckless with it, right? It was sort of my reckless tank. If I charge in, spot a few guys, shoot a few rounds off, and I die, let's say, in the first four or five minutes of the battle, first three minutes of the battle, that's not going to be a great result. But it is going to be enough to put me in the top ten on the team, and I'm just going to exit, and I'm going to play in another tank. Alter <coughs> sorry, alternatively, I could play longer, more carefully, more patiently with the 430U, and if I'm being too patient, I'm going to get the same result, and if I'm being just patient enough and just aggressive when I need to be and play the map correctly and look at everything and be very, very careful, if we're honest, I'm going to be a bit... I'm going to get tired sooner. But more importantly, what's also going to happen is the battle's going to take longer. So at the end of the day, I'm not sure that's faster than just doing one battle where I'm just like, oh, whatever, forward, sh shoot, 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 die, go into the, to the other battle, and then now you're like, all right, let's, let's tune it down a little bit, right? Tune down the aggression a little bit. Obviously, that was too much. What I'm saying is, I think number of battles is a deceiving characteristic, um, and the average experience as well, because of the style in which I conducted this marathon. That being, I played often when I was tired, when I didn't feel like it, uh, but I played nonetheless, and I did some stupid things every now and again. I had some horrible battles. Uh, if I were playing like I usually do, uh, I wouldn't have made so many silly decisions, uh, or at least I think I wouldn't have. <sighs> but I freaking did it, and this marathon, the point of this whole marathon was to prove to myself that I have the mental capacity and the physical capability to endure something like this, right? To focus, to put my mind... To focus my mind, if you will, on a particular task and to just organize my life in such a way that I can do the marathon regardless of my skill level, regardless of my disadvantages, um, regardless of being relatively new to World of Tanks. I mean, with 10,000 battles and an account from 2012, I am no, by no means a veteran of this game. I like to think that I know the game in and out mechanically speaking, but these are terrible stats. I mean, average experience and, like, personal rating and stuff is terrible because of the old account, and, like, um, like 8,000 of these battles were just terrible, and then, you know, in, like, last year I think I started to play a little bit more decently, and I I've gotten to this point, let's say. Um, 
I also find it kind of incredible that I, that I played like 400 and something battles in the course of 10 days. Because I feel like this number doesn't really reflect it, because I was at 9,500, I, I like to think, before the marathon, but clearly I wasn't. Um, which is kind of weird. But yeah. And there we go. Um, the object 274A. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't at least get any good decals with it or something. Well, I got this for it, which, eh. Well, during the grind for it, I should say. I think I'm going to put a style on it, like... Armoured concrete, nah. Eight years on board. That's just sad, let's not put that on. <laughs> Gamescom, uh, I like Gamescom. Kranosh, I like. Sparkling Night is really cool. Winter Wonderland is cool. Dark Night is reserved for the um, for the Italians. No reason, just is. All right, let's go with this. I like this one. It was a unique experience, though. It was probably one of the most unique gaming experiences I've had in my life, and I I don't say that lightly. Um, so yeah, this was, uh, I mean, you know, this was amusing. This was amusing, and uh, I, I feel like I've learned a lot about the marathon, and I feel like I could have done it way more efficiently and way better, but at the same time, you know. Right, so I'm not going with coated optics because the gun is trash. I, instead, I'm going to go with um, improved aiming... And stabs, I think. Improved rotation mechanism. Mm. Minus to dispersion during movement and traverse, as well as to, to, to vehicle traverse speed. Hmm. This doesn't seem bad. I need Rama too, I think. Yeah, I'll go with Rama. I'll go with Rama in this. I'll know to do it. I'll see, I might take this off and, and play around with it a little bit. I have, like, hundreds of these, uh... Yeah, like, 135 of these, so... That's all good. Alright, so the Polar Challenge is done. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I also have this, which is like... Do 1,300 damage. When does this end? Time left two hours. Oh, sod it. Might as well test the tank out, right? What's the point? Let's go. Here we go. Um, I think we're going to go to the right side. I forgot the ammo loadout. Christ, this is why I shouldn't play. I'm sorry, I'm just like excited and... You're not fine. Hardcore mode. Engaged. No gold. And this is how this tank is meant to be played. Net. No, it's not. It's a good credit maker, though, from what I've heard, so... I suppose that's fine. We'll, we'll put that to... The, we'll, we'll put that to the test. 230... Well, 227. Millimeters of penetration isn't bad. 320 alpha is alright. But good god, the dispersion and the aiming. I've heard horror stories about the gun. Though, the turret is good, from what I can tell. Against tier 8s and tier 9s. To most tier 8s and tier 9s, I want to say. Um, from what I've seen, the turret actually seems decent. Uh, most of the Russian turrets have a weak spot above the gun mantlet here. This tank, eh, not so much. Not that I've, you know, not from my experience of fighting it. Um, the hull armor, though, is kind of disappointing, um, and I think I think the gun lets most people down. But be that as it may, let's see what we can do in a in a position like this. Yeah, 
Upper plate. Mm, upper plate. Okay. So much so about the gun. Oh god. Oh, sorry. So much so about the uh, the armor being good. Okay. Then a bounce. And you know how it is with World of Tanks. You need to insult the the tank as much as physically possible in order to get it to perform well. Horrible gun, horrible armor, worthless tank. Hey, keep coming, keep coming, come on. How much was it that I needed to do? 1,300? We can do that, right? Uh, no, not if the uh, E4 stands back there and, uh, these, and, the, and the SDA, I suppose, but we need help here. We definitely need help here. 450 HP is not something to brag about. I'm sure you want to do that, mate. Ayas should be dead. If there's any justice in this world. Shame. I'm getting good spotting, but that's oddly not what I'm looking for. You know, if it was right there, you could sort of, uh... Alright, good. Oh no, not this thing. I hate this thing so freaking much. It's because of the weird turret, honestly. I hate it because of the weird turret. It's a good tank, I just hate fighting against it, because there's like a couple of pixels on that turret that you can penetrate and I keep trying and I'm failing like for failing for a while now I'll take one shot from you what's the worst that can happen come on excellent just amazing just absolutely freaking amazing I hate this tank so much come on go go push 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 I need like two more shots Oh look, there's a 274A object. Good. Let's see if we can penetrate ourselves. Well. Uh, and now we get to uh, witness the glorious performances of the gun, I assume. Hell does everyone have a shot on that Udes and I don't? Seriously, where the hell was that Udes? Oh, it's because of the rock, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Didn't realize there's a rock there. Oh dear, oh dear. Also wonder what the expectation values for this thing are. We're not getting our uh, 1.3k damage, sadly, but you know. Maybe with gold. <laughs> um, I wonder what the expectation values for the tank are. Shouldn't be too high. Predict around... Actually, I don't know. I have no idea. Because expectation values nowadays are wildly different. I'll give an example. The Object 430U, widely considered one of the best tanks in the game. Certainly one of the best all-round tanks in the game. Uh, three and a half thousand, I think. Three thousand, something like that, for the third mark of excellence. That was just bad aim on my part, honestly. Um, on the other hand, Object 140, which is considered by some people worse. Hey, we have the, uh, we have the mission. Great. Which is considered by some people worse. Four and a half thousand to 4,000. More likely 4,500. Yeah. I mean, it did get buffed recently, but people still consider it the worst tank. Why, I don't know. I think it's the best. <laughs> I genuinely do. I do think it's the best Russian medium. Hell, almost the best medium period uh, at, at tier 10, but, you know, there's different strokes for different folks and different types of mediums, so, yeah. So far, it's meh. I should clarify, not the 140, the, um, this one, the 274A. 
This one's meh. We should call it the Polar Tank, right? Or the Polar Object or something, because we got it in the Polar Challenge. Uh, it's alright. Credit Maker? I mean, I've only fired standards and, uh, you know, could be worse, I guess. Alright, let's go with 30 standards, 7 high explosives, 19 gold, 26, 23, uh, 20 gold, 29 standards, 7 high explosives. What's the penetration on the high explosives? 62. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. Not bad. Not bad. 80,000 credits for uh, that kind of ammunition loadout. So 80,000 credits basically for the uh, the APCR rounds. How much did we earn in the previous battle? Firing standards, 53. So... Could have fired most of our APCR ammunition and still made a profit. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, one more, I think, right? Yeah, one more for the glory. I need the crit boosters, to be honest with you. I have 44 of them, uh, which is a lot. But I intend on uh, playing a little bit every now and again during the uh, winter holidays and uh, grinding some credits, so I'll do one more battle. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for suffering with me through this marathon. I think if, if I weren't recording it, this would have been a little bit more difficult to focus on, I think. But I don't know. Um, it's been a challenge. It's been, like, a, a, a challenge in the proper sense of the word. Um, but, honestly, entirely doable. In entirely doable. And uh, I've, yes, in some ways, I've... I mean, I've enjoyed it now that it's done, to be honest with you. Uh, the only thing that left sort of like a sour taste in my mouth are the la last few battles in the last day. Not even the last day, like, today was great. It's the last, like, t 15 battles that were just terrible. Um, so, yeah. That could have been better. Mind you, I wasn't playing great. I was just like, okay, the last 2,000 experience, come on. Let's just, like, get tanks out there and, like, get the tank and just stop with this grind because it's annoying me, but okay. Uh, it's good. It's it's it was it was it was good. It was fun to try to do. It was exhausting and painful and mentally challenging, but we got there in the end. And uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Um, I think like the only change I made realistically. Other than, like, messing up my sleep schedule at one point, because, you know, um, didn't quite need to do that, but the only real change that I've made in my daily life is I didn't play any other games. Like, I've recorded Sun Hunter, which was, like, 40 to 50 minutes to 60 minutes of recording every day of Sun Hunter, and then for the rest of the day, I didn't play much else other than World of Tanks, and I did play a little bit more than, uh, than I usually do. But other than that, I mean, I had online lectures, I did stuff for uni as I usually do, I did, like, I told you, I went shopping, did, made my own food around the house, cleaned up a little bit here and there and stuff, it was like, mostly business as usual, so, yeah. In 400 and, well, officially, well, like, I think officially 470 battles, let's call it 450, because, you know. I explained why the, the the entire mathematical system behind that isn't quite accurate. So, in like 450 battles, I managed to get it, I think. With an XP average of what, like... I calculated it before. It should be like around 500 or something. Um, 550, was it? No? 500 something? Ah, who, who cares, really? Um, it's not perfectly accurate, either. Um, it's like, today it says 718. I don't think this is correct. I think this is like... 500, 600 maybe, um, but this number corresponds to this number, so, eh, who knows. Uh, one more battle and then I'm off to bed, but uh, I won't bother you with, uh, with World of Tanks anymore, it's not the most popular game on the channel. Tomorrow, tomorrow I have a test to prepare for, so I doubt I'll be recording anything, but the day after tomorrow, Misery, and then 
Misery again, probably, a little bit more, because I've, I've sort of abandoned that series, or uh, it, it went on a hiatus, if you will. And then after that, we shall see. Cyberpunk is coming out, and I'm in two minds whether I should play it on YouTube or not. But we shall see, I suppose. Anyways, until then, ladies and gents, have fun, take care, bye-bye. We did it.